Are drugs still as active in the rock communities that were back in the... No. Like, you're not fucking dropping acid in Amsterdam after gigs. What's the point in doing it? I know a lot of people that do. Why do performers who are doing something that is kind of so true to themselves need the high of drugs? I associate drugs with people who are kind of escaping their reality. The reason, the history of of why uh, musicians tend to uh, do a lot of drugs or end up being drug addicts is because you're getting the best high in the world when you're on stage. And what do you do after that? Yeah. What do you do after? Like you said, do you go do you go back to your hotel and sit there by yourself and watch TV? I mean, some nights, yeah, you have to because you're just burnt the fuck out. But but a lot of people do that because you need to keep that high going. How do you do it? And the, really, the only other way is probably drugs and sex, and that's why it's sex, drugs, and rock and roll. I I, I don't necessarily think that's the way you have to live. I'm not I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying like that's it. That's the end all be all. But I'm just saying that is the like biological answer for it the thing about sex is so interesting because it's like rock and roll stars are famous because they point out human hypocrisy and the inner conflict they're saying what we all think and a lot of that's about love but they kind of have more meaningless sex that is so loveless than any other form of society what's that like to compute because rock and roll stars clearly especially lyricists are so aware of the purpose of um feeling that someone's there for you or that they understand you intellectually do rock and roll stars enjoy those one night stands when the groupie's kind of there and you know listen she looks great as you said i need to match the high so you bring her back do they enjoy it or does it just get tiring probably a lot of the lyrics that are about love and stuff is 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 probably the desire to want that and have had it at one point but your life as a musician um is kind of the polar opposite of of the ease of, of getting that kind of relationship. Right. So yeah. you're like, I want a relationship. I want to be in love. I want to be with a partner, but my life um, doesn't line up with that. And so there's you an still immense write songs selfishness about in a way, isn't there? There's the, like to any of kind course. of songwriter, performer, comic film writer, selfish, narcissistic bastards who put their pain on paper ahead of literally letting people in to really know who they are. Well, what would you, would you rather have, uh, would you rather all the songs go away from these narcissists? No, it's a control thing. It is my ability to express my pain gives me an element of control over my emotions. And I don't trust anyone else to have them like my granny and granddad did when they were trying to make ends meet. And they valued the milk, eggs and bread ahead of everything else. <laughs> That's correct. It's a tough thing to navigate. I'll tell you that much. You know, it's like um, I've been in and out of relationships and some people... I think you have to find somebody that that is okay or at least understands or is in the same world that can understand the life that you live. Um, uh, it is it is a selfish life, but like, I don't know. I think I've, I've always kind of been like, it's your life, man. It's like you only got one life and it's yours. So don't be a people pleaser. Don't, you know, obviously take care of your friends, take care of people, take care of like, the fans and all that shit, but it's like, it's yours, man. Like do what you want and make sure that you're happy in whatever you're doing. Um, I hope you don't go down like, you know, uh, a hole and like get sucked into like, you know, being an addict and, and having no control of yourself um, and kind of pissing away all your, the people around you, but, but also do what you want, like whatever it is. Uh, I'm a big proponent of that. And that, that does sound selfish, but it's like when people are like, you know, why don't I have kids? It's like, well, that's fucked up. You should, you should have kids. Everyone should have kids. Like, yeah. well, I don't, I don't, 